chusi. Muki diza plant si chuke. Mumanyi wezi gendo kuchukira. Budioma soma si checho. Fena tu soma. Oli mupi what? Oli mupi what? Perfect. Kati mumanyi chetu gendo kola. Tu genda kusomero kumande, right? Yes. Njaga labo yingi la kusomero kumande o ingile bote. Teacher, oh, hello, teacher. Good morning, Omugambe teacher. I brought this tree for planting. Together, call that teacher. Teacher, I brought this tree for planting. So we make sure we plant these trees in our school, right? Yes. And then we take care of our trees, all right? Yes. Okay, great job. Let's shake, shake, mother earth. Shake, shake, mother earth. Thank you, baby. You said that this is my tree. I don't know. You said that this is We are super excited to be back here with you guys. Does anyone remember me? Yes. From when? When was the last time I was here? Last year. Last year? Last one. Did you guys miss me? Yes. How come nobody looked up, looked for me? You couldn't find me? Yeah. So, well, guess what? I've been out there thinking about you guys, and uh, today I say, God, take me to Kasangati High School. So, my name is Judith Hart. For those who've just joined the school recently, I'm a very good friend to these girls. We were here two years ago, and we were talking about climate change and environmental conservation. But apart from that, today, we are here to talk about focusing on school. Focusing in school is not about a terrible, did I start back? No. Oh, we are ready to listen. So I'm standing in front of you. I am a mother of three amazing children. My son just turned 18 years yesterday. My twin girls are going to be turning 15 in March. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to my son? Yes. Yes. about focusing in schools because I, I found that uh, department very hard for me growing up. I was in school, but at some point I became a bit a bad girl, a bad child. I didn't want to focus in school. And today it's one of the biggest mistakes that I've made in my life. I am successful as a model, but every time I try to start up a business, you know what happens? No. When I turn around, they're like, do you have this certificate? Do you have senior four certificate? Do you have senior six? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I dropped out of school. I don't have anything. And you know what happens? I end up losing that big opportunity. Do you understand? Yes. I lose the big opportunity because I didn't complete my studies. <laughs> I became a party girl. I decided to run outside and hang out with friends, which were not very good friends. We used to hang out instead of being in school. And guess what turned out happened? I was expelled from school. And everywhere I went to get a school, I couldn't be given an a chance to be in the same school because of who I was in the school I was in before. So no matter what we do in life, you might say, I'm in school. I just did it at Kasangati High School. My family has money. I can be transferred to a different school. But darling, remember, everything you do going on the top will always what? Follow you. Everything you do in life, whether it's in the background, whether you're hiding, 
remember there is a man watching you and you might get away with that but he still he saw you doing whatever you did right and that's when we say karma but for us we don't want karma we want God to take us through our journey and by how does God take you through your journey is by choosing what's important in life can I ask somebody what's the most important thing in your life Somebody else? Being successful and raising the whole family. Good girl. Somebody else? Becoming an accountant. That's amazing. I love money. <laughs> Somebody else at the back? What is that most important thing in your life at the moment? Achieving your dream. Somebody out there? Education, thank you so much. Everybody has that one important thing that matters in their lives. And, and, and until you know what matters in your life first, then you always mess up. And I'm so happy that every one of you at least knows what is the most important thing in their life. Somebody else would have told me, oh, to grow up and have a family. You already have a family. Your mother, your father, your sisters, your aunties, that is the family you should be focusing on right now, especially if you're still in school and want to have a successful life. And um, if you have any other questions, we're going to get into that. But yes, so all I can say to you ladies, and we only have ladies, right? OK, now we can be comfortable. So all I was saying is, let's choose what is most important in life. We focus on that and the rest is going to add on to it once we have that most important thing that we have achieved. And that is education. After school, we have all the time in this world. But as long as you make it through school, then your life is going to be beautiful. It's not easy out there. You see us, we're looking beautiful, we have makeup, but darlings, it's not easy out there. There is so many temptations. Has anybody been tempted this, this last year? Does anybody have a boyfriend? It's okay, don't tell me. I, I don't have a boyfriend. It's okay, don't tell me. But to be honest with you guys, I'm not in a relationship today. You know why? Because I couldn't focus. You cannot focus when you have somebody else that you're not ready to settle with if you're not financially stable. If the man is not financially stable, then definitely that relationship is not going to work. And I decided to be single because I want to achieve my goals. I have so many dreams. And right now I have my three amazing children. They are studying, they're very intelligent. But I still have things to achieve in life. And uh, one of them is to plant 50 million trees all over Africa and in schools because I want you guys to have the best nutrition. You can eat food, but uh, how many times do you get fruits in school? Do they give you, do they give you uh, dessert? No. You don't eat mangoes? No. You don't eat, you don't have passion fruit? No. So guess what? One of, one of my goals is to plant 50 million trees all over schools in Africa. My second goal is uh, for my foundation to be able to have a home for every girl out there that gets in trouble. For me, a safe place to, to sit and think. Third is to make a lot of money. That is mine and mine. When I say to make a lot of money that is mine is from my sweat. I wake up, go to office, do my work at the end of the month, look into my account and see how much money I made. Okay, that is my money. There is no husband saying, I am wodi. But then, you understand what I mean? And I'm also not saying that you don't, you shouldn't love men. But there is time in the future when we have achieved all the comfort we want. Do you know what it means? Being comfortable, you're beautiful, you're educated, you have your salary, you have a, you have a business growing. Wouldn't that be amazing for every girl? 
Isn't that what we all want? So all I can say is God bless you all. I put my hands on you all. You're going to flourish in your life and you're going to be successful. I love you so much, but this time don't forget me. There is social media, you can look for Judith Hart and you always find me and we can plant so many trees together. I wish you all the best in your school. God bless you. Yes. You do? Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm called Linda Evans Alija. I am a lawyer by profession. I work with Scepter Advocates. And I'm happy to be back here. And thank you to each and every one of you that has kept the faith and the promise that we have been talking about for the subsequent times we have been here. So, yes, as Judith has told you about our clients, as Judith had foundation. But still, I want to encourage each and every one of you here that there is no need to rush into doing anything. Um, I believe you have understood what I mean. It's because there is someone here, so I can't be as explicit as I would wish to be. But in all you do in life, remember there is one you and you have one life. And how to use that life matters a lot to you. You understand? Yes, you may be in school and you're saying, oh, it's mom and dad that put me in Kasanga tea. It's mom and dad that want me to do A, B, C, and D. But at the end of the day, it is your life. And you have one life. So in everything you do, remember, it's one me, and I have one life. And I have to use that life profitably. Don't do something because you're being forced into it. Or if the worst comes to the worst, and you're forced into doing it, then pick the positive, pick the good out of every situation. because. When we are positive, then we achieve more than when we are negative. So I understand you're going through a new curriculum. Um, you may not have people to interact with, to relate better with. And like us, who are, I would say, a bit ancient, whereby literally generations and generations had studied the same thing, so it was easy to consult and relate. So it's a little unfortunate for you guys. But still, it doesn't mean that there is no one out there to help you out reach out whenever you're going through anything because the biggest cause of death when we go into mental issues it's because we are depressed and we have no one to share these things with. I don't know if any of you came across the newspaper that was saying over 70% of Ugandans are mad. Anyone saw that advert? Okay, there is a newspaper that was a report from Botanica Hospital that said more than 70% of Ugandans we are mad. <laughs> yeah, and the problem is we don't even know that we are mad or that we have mental issues. That's the biggest sad problem about it. So I know school can get hard here and there. I was in boarding school for six years, secondary, and I wouldn't say my school was <laughs> so comfortable. Once in a while you'd have those challenges, but I don't know if you guys have a counselor here, do you? No. But I know you have teachers. We even have senior women teachers, I think. I don't know if that's the same term you guys also use. Reach out to those people. They're in those places to help. If you feel you're running mad, please, before you throw stones, talk to someone. If you feel you have something burdening you, please share it with someone, because they can give you a better way of dealing with all those <coughs> challenges, because this is how we're going to be successful when we're mentally stable. A madman can't succeed in anything. So it could be from home, it could be at school, it could be education, it can be whatever. Please reach out to anyone to help you. I tired, and I'll go tell my boss I'm like senior. Today no, I need a break. Why? Because if my brain or if my mind is clogged and depressed and sad, there is nothing useful I'm going to do. I will just create more problems because now let me say, if I'm supposed to write an agreement for Judith, maybe she's buying a car, I would end up writing an agreement that Judith is supposed to pay extra money that she shouldn't, costing her. Why? Because I am mad. <laughs> because of what I'm going through. So still, as you read, as you stay in school, remember, you have one life and you are you alone. 
we'll never have another you in this world. <laughs> Look for you. We have your pictures. And I will have yes. 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 You promised to show me the trees after. Yes. So thank you very much for this. It's very wonderful coming back here. So in case you have any questions, we'll take like three. We now would love to know the main objective of the Is it planting trees? Does it deal with boys or girls' issues? You want to answer? Oh, I'm a student. Judith Hart Foundation is a non profit organization seeking to end rape and sexual assault. I'm a rape survivor as well. And no hiding because we're strong. And that's why today I stand and I want to be the voice. Anybody that touches you, anybody that messes with you, anybody that says anything that you don't like, especially in the area that you understand, right? You will have to look for Judy Hart Foundation. So that is what we measure in. But when you look at climate change, women and children suffer a lot. Because once there is a, a flood, mother and daughter are going to be running to find a, a safe place to live then that's when you're going to drop out of school because now you have to move to a different area and you're going to be struggling. So that's why we say we tackle climate change, we fight for our women and we make sure that the environment we're saving them to take you is safe. So that is <laughs> Organization right now for safety reasons we cannot uh, give out the address now, cloth number because of my safety. Mm -hmm. But we have a website. All you do is send us, you go to our website, it's www.judithidefoundation.org. You got it? Mm -hmm. And then you send us an email. It says contact us. You send us an email. There is a number, an emergency. You call that number and we'll be right there to help. Ale bokali disimba, njoge demu luganda wakubwa njaga la budi alimu luganda tegere chetuliko. Olwa lelonga kumi na msanvu, tuma kinga hichigende wa chapa na feba necho kusimba emiti emilioni amakumi yata ano. Era njaga loko ola budi muna luganda aliye yo, gwe wabo sivolo kusimba emiti nanga ngenda kubanga nega taku guru pe ne yo kusimba emiti amakumi emilioni amakumi yata. So wale ro ne judithi hadi tu simbo muti guno na ya bali yeyo mutu wagire mwe bali nyo mwe bali redara. Wow. Muti gwe tu simbi tu simbi gwa fene gwa vivala na ye tu bali na emiti ye jabu ni chika emiti ye jiva mwe mbao emiti ye je vivala emiti ye je dagala so buli chika cha muti chona tu chilina. Kusaba. Kutani kide wano kasanga tayi school. Nze director waka sanga tayi school. Atenga nze sentebe wabananyi ni masomero gona mwakiso district. Kwa programu tuke na gita ambuza masomero gona. Tuke na siga langa tuwa ita tuogere na bo. Mweba lenyo, mweba jetala. Thank you.
ekitundu chona negwanga yange na bujyomwe na ampuriro na bwerero bujyomu akore buri kimwe kisoboka kuraba tukuma ki obutonde bwa fe foundation tubebaza okuranga batwete de miti ku cyaro cha fe kabanyoro atera tubebaza ne mwa bisimbwa kalindi yebale nyoye balire dalo kuroza ku kitundu ki bayita bati kabanyoro village 